I was like, who the fuck is that? And then years later, I, I watched it again. I was like, that's Ashley fucking Johnson. <laughs> like, it's not she got to be near Chris Evans. It's Chris Evans got to be near her. Hi, welcome to Author's Note. Don't like, don't listen. My name is Cass. And I'm Nika! It's been a little bit of a wild week, so Tease is not with us this week, but you can go and find them on Twitter and give them some well wishes and tell them how much you miss them and love them. But we have my dear friend and friend of the show, Nika, filling in this week <laughs> in a real pinch last. hitter of an episode. <laughs> At long last, it begins. <laughs> Your third Uh, member starts here. (laughs) I'm sorry, Jay's our honorary third member. Ah, damn. Yeah, so you kind of missed the boat on that one. I'll have to just fight them for it. This is Furry (laughs) Jay. Is this Furry (laughs) Jay? This is Furry Jay. Yes, this is Furry Jay. Jay is on our furry episode. You can find Jay on that episode. That episode is really fun, actually. But this week, we're doing something a little bit different. I know normally we talk about fandom history and fandom discourse and media history. But this week, Nika has... An ear for voice actors. And it has long been the bane of many of our conversations, I would say. It probably causes about nine-tenths of our fights. But Nika has a a tuned ear for picking out voice actors, either by name or by other roles they have portrayed. So this week, we are going to do a fun little game show of Nika attempting to guess characters and guess their voice actors, and you can play along at home. But before we get into even any of that, Nika. Have you been watching or reading or enjoying anything fun this week? Um, so I've, (laughs) this is so off the beat that I normally do. I've been watching Star Trek The Next Generation. Mm -hmm. It's like my comfort, well, Mass Effect is my comfort series. So you can bet when Mm -hmm. I was listening to that Mass Effect episode, I was screaming the whole time. I was just like, (laughs) so, I'm so mad. Um... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> mad that it ended the way that it did and mad that people acted the way that they did. So disclaimer. Mm-hmm, yeah. um, but I, I love sci-fi and I've been having, you know, typical health issues for a person that owns certain body parts. So I was watching <laughs> <laughs> that. What a way to put that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I just I'm, I've really gained an appreciation for it just because of how like you can feel the love radiating from the cast and crew Mm. from the show because they loved being Mm -hmm. on it and it's like it's it was the it was the brain parent from mass effect like it's based on Mm. star trek and you can see where and when they got their inspirations like measure of a man is like legion's entire character arc so like Mm. so i've been doing that uh, playing Final Fantasy Online 14 <laughs> with my boy Goose Coxcomb lock, hit me up on the forums. <laughs> it's a primal. <laughs> I love my son. I have so many ideas, but I still don't like I can't solidify any of them because I mm-hmm. haven't gotten deep into the lore yet. But I if I'm not if I'm not cleaning or trying to be a healthy functioning adult, I'm playing that game and which is more often now the fun not. thing is you can be a healthy functioning adult and play final fantasy 14 this is I true i haven't figured out that combo yet <laughs> but many of my friends have and so i'm <laughs> aiming for it <laughs> i will get there one day we'll get there one, one day, day. Yeah. yeah your um, 20s are for just messing everything up i feel like we do have another fun special guest with us today which oh, is yeah. lucky who's nika's cat so if you're if you're a fan of eskel screaming be prepared for some lucky screaming because she does it a hell of a lot more um she is she's gonna be 16 this year she's old as balls so pray and wish for her her good health um (laughs) lastly i just started this today it's a podcast called um i think it's called behind the bastards and it's it's from iHeartRadio, and it's about Mm -hmm. um it's about breaking down notorious historical figures and like where they came mm-hmm. from and like the spider web of their influence. And mm-hmm. I clicked on one called the man who made Trump. And it's about, it's about a guy named Roy Cohn and I did it's in two parts and I'm like halfway through the first and it's loaded. It's low. If I was in mm-hmm. a psych course, this would, my paper would be on this about how like mm-hmm. be nice to your children. 
Because you'll create yeah. a dictator if you don't. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. fascinating. And the, the mm-hmm. host scene. I'll have fine. to check that out. That sounds yeah. really good. I beat main scenario quest of Shadowbringers last night because I had a really rough night. And I, like, I stopped because I did some, you know, level grinding with Cass, who is another dear friend of the show. And then I tried to go to sleep and it didn't work out so well. And I was like, <laughs> I'm just going to beat Shadowbringers. And I did. You and, beat Shadowbringers? Uh, I a lot of feelings. Yeah, not oh. patch content. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I apologize to every, you know, person who listens to the podcast who has no interest in Final Fantasy XIV, but this is kind of going to be what you're hearing until November, and then you're going to hear more of it when Endwalker comes out. But we have a lot of exciting stuff planned for the coming weeks when Tease comes back next week. The Neopets bonus episode is going to be coming out. Patreon, we just released our show and tell episode over there, and another one is coming very soon to make up for the deficit of our vacation. But yeah, we've got tons of stuff coming out, and it's also a great time to go back and, you know, listen to some old episodes as we get into that cozy slide of fall. I'm one of those people. It's not the last days of summer, it's the first days of Halloween. Fuck yeah, dude. I can't wait. I it's crazy how fast August went by. Mm-hmm. Um September's two weeks away. What? I think it's technically, it's less than two weeks away. It's, oh my god, like, I'm both very it's excited. It's a little over a week away. I'm very excited and also deeply traumatized at how fast time is moving, and I'm not yeah. comfortable with it. But yeah. I'm so ready for those fucking leaves to come down, and for me <laughs> to turn up and wear a fucking sweater! <laughs> now, so Nika, I'm very familiar with you, but obviously people who listen to the show are not. More than likely. Would you like to tell people a little bit about yourself? Where you come from? What are you into? What's the sort of stuff that you, Nika, get up to on an everyday basis? I feel like the short and quick and easy answer is that um, I'm like a second... I, I butted off of Tease when Tease was first <laughs> created in a, in a lab of good taste. <laughs> we were, <laughs> we're tube siblings. I'm a weeb through and through. I was, mm-hmm. uh, I was, I started the weeb journey when I was 12 and I've never looked back. Um, <laughs> I love, I basically, I love anything that's a story. If it's a podcast, if it's like a weird webtoons comic, if it's like a short form story, a video game, a movie, like House of Leaves, a weird puzzle book that's the size of my head, I'll read it. I'll engage with it in any possible way if it's a story. Um, Which I is love... why you've been dragging your feet through Patrick Rothfuss's writing for like over a year now. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not like the second book is better. It's over there, obviously, because <laughs> I just looked up at it. But uh, it's it's like I also love lore. I love lore heavy mm-hmm. stuff if it's done in a way that's like palatable and not like Lord of the Rings. Listen, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, it's a it's interesting. Part, it's part of interesting. The, it's part of fantasy canon. It's it paved the way for many things that I love hold dear in my heart. But oh my god, is she dense? Like, <laughs> it's like it's like you're in a history class. That part, I, I yeah. you know, like yeah. there has to be. Have you heard of nuance? There has to be nuance in it. One would argue that there's quite a bit of nuance. Maybe a little too ways, much. But <laughs> <laughs> you want to like <laughs> it's the iceberg of nuance you don't want to turn into uriage like you want to you want to be like be nice to him <laughs> be nice to him i love him <laughs> be nice to him in his mutton chops i'm a good old-fashioned millennial uh i grew up in a, in a forest that should tell you a lot in a hippie mm. town hippie town forests yeah, you help take care of chickens. You're right. wearing plaid right now. Yeah. You are in every way except sexuality a butch lesbian. <laughs> I was thinking about things I would say the other day. I was like, should I just say it? Like, I'm the butch lesbian without the lesbian. Like, that, yeah, that'll break it down for you. I look like Alanis Morissette sometimes if I do the, if I yeah. do the lighting right. So, yeah. yeah. Just think Alanis Morissette if she was really into anime. And- so, fellas, if you're looking, <laughs> Nika's out there. <laughs> If you treat people like they're, they have rights, then boy, we're already on a, what she said. You'll hear it in the recording. <laughs> All um, right. I think that's about it. I also draw. I should mention that. I draw. Yeah. You're an artist. People can, where can people find you online? Turian, which is the name of a Mass Effect species. T-U-R-I-A-N. Mailman. At Twitter and Tumblr possibly instagram i almost always use uh twitter 
actively and then I do mm-hmm. bursts on Tumblr. So Tumblr and Twitter mm-hmm. are my main spaces. Mm-hmm. And that's that's pretty much it. If you're also really into Princess Tutu. I, I you know, I listen, if I brought that up, we would be here. I, I would not be able to control myself, yeah. but I fucking yeah. love Princess mm-hmm. Tutu. Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> if you've been listening, you'll know friend of the show me fucking loves princess tutu (laughs) that's all i gotta say on that with that let us descend the 20 circles of auditory hell and begin our fun little game so nika how this is gonna work is we're gonna play a voice clip for you Mm -hmm. you have to guess the character who says that line and the voice actor for a possible total of two points, one point for each. There is a possible total of 40 points. There are some gimmies in here and there are some trickier ones. And there's okay. one that technically does not have a voice actor, but if you can tell me what made the noise. Okay. We're good. All right. Watch the so, Wilhelm scream be in here. It's not. <laughs> Listeners, feel free to play along at home. Let's get started with our very first clip. No, just another defensive system. Oh, God. <laughs> I know her. Um, she always plays really stoic. Yeah, she always plays really stoic characters. Um, oh, it's 2B. It is 2B. It's 2B. I don't know her name. I don't know the name of the voice actress, but she's great. Okay. <laughs> that was Kira Buckland. Hell yeah, Kira. She's also on the the um, very loud, very... Oh, no, that's not true. She's on Kyle McCarley's streams. She'll show oh, up. okay. Yeah. Cool, good to know. It's and Kyle McCurley is the, the voice of 9S. My so. son. All right. Number two. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's my favorite. Okay, that was Coliat Creos from Mass Effect 2. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's Quentin Flynn. And he's also, yes. fun fact, he's the voice of Sheldon from My Life as a Teenage Robot. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he's like, Jenny! <laughs> like, he's like, <laughs> he whips out, he whips out the nerd. It's so good. Yeah, that's my son. That's my boy, Coliat. There are some surprises on here that even I did not anticipate who was voicing them. So, I love that. Right. I love a good surprise. Number three. You've done so much for me. I thought you might like this. It's Hades. Uh, <laughs> it's, well, that's the game. It's, the game is Hades. Okay. <laughs> it's Zagreus. Um... Darren Corb is the voice actor. Wow, yes. I know this. Very good. I know this because they said, oh, he used to do the music of all the other games. Yeah. And I'm obsessed with his music. So I was like, that's yeah. fucking Darren Korb. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I think everyone was a little blown away by that. I have to play that game again. It's been a hot The minute. voice acting in Hades has this very... It's super. I think on the Besties podcast, they described it as being like everybody was really close up on the mic. They did it in one take and it's really sexual for yes. every single line. Yes. You could argue that also for Final Fantasy. <laughs> like, everyone is like, yeah, Amerik. <laughs> like, really up on that microphone. All right. Number four. I feel like you're doing the countdown to the to the animal planet, like most dangerous animals. So it's like number four, the the shark with number six mouths. Four. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Hi gamers, welcome back to my YouTube <laughs> no! channel. Today we're going to be counting down the top ten moments in all of Fortnite. Oh. Number five. Oh god. Number four. Oh no. Number two. It's the worst bit. It's the worst I do this bit. when we're raiding, and Nika tries to kill me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But do you know which one it is? God, no. They all sound the same after a couple hours. First off, this is Animal Crossing. Yes, this is Animal Crossing. <laughs> and my guess is New Horizons, because it sounds fucking crisp. It sounds clean. Mm-hmm. Um, I will tell you, it is one of the main NPCs, if that helps at all. Uh, is it Tom Nook? It is! Do you know where Animalese comes from? I know. I think it isn't it like a mashup of Japanese and English. Yes. Okay, but the I don't. Phonetic sounds. Yes. I don't know who does the voices. I don't know computer. Yes. Is it a Vocaloid? No, I don't think it's a Vocaloid. It was a it was a system that they created specifically to. So anytime you are typing in Animal Crossing, you can really easily pick up on it. Mm-hmm. But you can sometimes pick it out from when they're speaking if you're really used to hearing animalies in Animal Crossing, where they're making the phonetic sounds or specifically pronouncing the letters that they right. were saying. Yeah, they're like, eh, so, be- <laughs> yeah. 
Si. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or for like L's and R's, they'll do like ru and lu, that kind yeah. of thing. Number five. We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. My love and my wife, um, even though she's married, uh, Laura, Laura Bailey. Laura Bailey as Yes, Kaine. that is Laura Bailey. Yes. <laughs> my other wife and, and love of my life. <laughs> it was very difficult to find a line where she wasn't swearing, because I felt like that would immediately give it away, the yeah. character. Yeah. So any, there's no, like, characters saying each other's names in any of these clips, and right. I tried to limit music, but Nier is so chock full of music well, the other in thing, almost every moment. The other thing with Laura Bailey is that in, in the media that I've consumed that she's been a part of, she doesn't really do that kind of voice very often. Mm -hmm, so yeah. the only thing I have consumed that she does do that voice is Nier. So I was like, yeah, yeah it's Nier. Uh <laughs> Well, and it's amazing because she has such a... She has such a diversity in the way that she can control and manipulate her voice, which is not most voice actors do. But I think a yeah. lot of them get typecast into these certain roles. For and sure. I think for a very long time, she was pulled into this sort of like softer, higher voice, especially because she's like, she's like a cute girl. Like we yeah. can acknowledge that. And when so we, I think she got cast for that kind of when role. When we were watching Mirac, by the way, we watched Miraculous Ladybug together. That's how. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the. The character of I don't remember her name, but she's the she's the girl in the the um the Shanghai special. Her mm. voice actress is I've noticed typecasted as like these very like they have daddy issues. Like <laughs> it's so weird. Like because she's in persona. We always like, want five. a girl with like a little bit of edge to her voice. And she's it's like, like my okay. father, my father, <laughs> like all the time. And I'm like, wow, why did they do this to you? <laughs> like, what is it about you that screams? <laughs> I'm a girl with dad issues. All right. Number six. Yeah, but it was fun. Every day's fun. Even when we almost get ourselves killed. <laughs> <laughs> Nika's crying on the other screen. <laughs> uh, uh, it's Robbie Damon and it's Prompto. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what clued me in? It was the Spanish guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the same. you know what scene that's from? I'm sure it's like the end, right? Like, cause it's he, not. No, it's not. Oh, I don't know. We had a lot of fun. I mean, we always have fun. I don't know where the fuck you're talking about. Like when you're standing on the steps of the Citadel and you got to say goodbye to your best friend. And he's like, can I look at that picture? And <laughs> you mean the, the part of the game where I went, no, take it again. Well, there what about this one? No. In Final Fantasy 15, <laughs> in which Prompto, the character who you just heard, takes photos <laughs> And these photos are normally like AI generated, but you can also take photos yourself. And so at the very end of the game, the idea is that you're standing at like the moment of this final confluence where you are about to die. Spoilers. And you're like, you know, let me look through all those photos prompto and you can take one with you. Except, of course, the game has a built in mechanic where you can say, let me look at this photo. No, not this one. And so Nika did this for 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes at like five in the morning when we'd been playing all night and we were exhausted and tired and you could not stop cackling. It will. I think part of it was the fact that, so I had forgotten that you, that was a mechanic. So yes. then like it, it, of course it shows you the most recent photo you took and whatever I took, it was some dumb bullshit. It was like a blurry. It was, it was specifically the very bad drawing that yeah! like one artist does in Altitia of all four boys. And like the joke of the photo is that they just look so bad. <laughs> That's right. It's so like, he's like you go to this portrait <laughs> artist and she's like, yeah, let me draw you boys. And she draws you and you get it. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Prompto's like, we had some good times. Do you want to take a look at a photo? And it's like, <laughs> it's like it's a really awful drawing. And it's just like, yep, this is the one. This is the one I want to remember for the rest of my dying days. <laughs> and then it was like, I took a photo of uh, Noctis in the bird suit. <laughs> the mascot. Like, oh my God. Mm -hmm, Kenny Crow. Was... And it's just the way that he's like, let me take a look at another one. And then Prompto's like, <laughs> Here you go, buddy. And just like not just going like, mm hmm. Yeah. Good times. Give me another one. <laughs> just like, they're all really bad. It makes Prompto look like he's like really bad at being a photography guy. And he's just like taking a blurry picture of Ignis's elbow. We're moving into trickier ones now. And ones which oh I think you will be much more hard pressed to identify. So say goodbye to your perfect score. Okay. Your score isn't perfect. You've, you've missed one so far. All right. Number seven. Listen. 
How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. That's um, that's uh, Charles from Red Dead Two. Red Dead, Damn, yeah, is it Red Dead? okay, Red Dead yeah, yeah, but two. I don't. I they're all like they're all act. I think they're like actor actors, so I don't like mm -hmm. hear them regularly. So I don't know his name. That is no sheer Dalal. Admittedly, I did not expect you to get that one, but I'm amazed has, that you got Charles. He has a really distinct voice. It's like, I mean, mm -hmm. they all do because they're voice actors, mm -hmm. but like, it's this like, it's very nasally. It's very far back in the throat. And it's like Charles, when he speaks, it's you listen to him. Like, it's important. Yeah. So you like mm -hmm. keep it up here. And it's just mm -hmm. like, he just... It's it's Charles. I don't know how else to describe. Like, yep, that's Charles. He has that magical blend of a voice that is both soft and yet very commanding, which yes, I think is exactly. quite rare. It's like you have it or you don't. It's not something you can necessarily train into. Number eight. How do I talk about this? So, um, I guess you you trained him huh? after I left. I gotta hear it again. Yeah, go for it. I don't. I don't <laughs> know. It it kind of it. It sounds like Wolf 359, but I doubt that's what it's from. It is not, no. Yeah. Yeah. This is from a video it's... game, and I'll help you a little bit and say it is a triple A video game. Oh, God. Well, I don't really play a lot of those. <laughs> I don't really play a lot of <laughs> I those. know you've played this one, though. It's What's throwing me off is that it's clearly like a segmented part. Like, it's like a mm -hmm. file that you pick up. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Uh, I don't, can I get, can, can, can I get one more hit, but it's specifically like, did I play it with you? You didn't play it with me, but I was the reason you were able to play one of the entries in this franchise. Okay. I honestly have no idea. I'm thinking it's, it's definitely not, um, God of War. It's not one of the DLCs from, from Final Fantasy 15. No. Oh man. I don't know. This was Nolan North as Desmond Miles in Assassin's Creed. Oh, okay. We got to clarify a few <laughs> things here. One, one, yes, I currently have that game that you let yeah. me play. He's not in that. He's not in that at all. He's in that franchise, though. Yes, he's in the franchise, but like, I haven't played yeah. a Nolan North Assassin's Creed game in a hundred <laughs> years. It's been a while. Don't, don't hold me accountable because you can't identify one of the most no, prolific I, I take voice the L. actors. I take the L. I take the L. But let me tell you, I, <laughs> Nolan North is triple, triple A, and I haven't played a Nolan North game since I was in like community college like <laughs> it's been a long i knew i was like excuses, i bet you nolan north excuses. is gonna be in here he's gonna be in here somewhere but and i nolan north him. let me can i hear it again just so i like now that i know yeah, it's nolan it. north yeah okay yeah, i can i can kind of parse <laughs> it up oh man wow yeah that was a toughie that was a toughie there was a lot going against me on that one <laughs> I haven't heard Nolan North speak since I was 21. <laughs> there are two in here that I'm worried you won't get at all. And this is one of them that I'm about to play for you. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, this one, my, I'm going to need you to go back a little bit into your childhood. Okay? Oh, that's Number easy. Number nine. <laughs> Do that all the time. All right. Lies in a little something called liposomes. Liposomes are microscopic agents that can actually carry vitamin E to the subsurface of your skin. Um, fuck, dude. Yeah, you really went far for that one. <laughs> oh, God. I know. Like, if you it's can familiar. even name the series it's from, I will give you the point for the character. But I was oh thrown God. by who voices this character. I, I know that I've heard the voice many times because, like, you know, childhood. I mm -hmm. want it. My brain is like, it's called Lyoko. No, that's just because we were watching Miraculous Ladybug and <laughs> Code Lyoko is adjacent to that. It's not Code Lyoko. Let me hear it again. I doubt I'm going to get it. Oh, man. Like, maybe Ben 10. Like, I, this is an old. This is a fucking Further old back one. than Ben 10. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it. I, I know the voice. I've heard it many, many times, but I don't know the name and I don't know the series. The TV show was Recess. The character is oh, Gretchen. Man. And the voice actress is Ashley Johnson. 
No, uh, oh yeah, no, I okay, yeah, that makes sense. But she's like, as soon as you hear that it's Ashley Johnson, you're like, oh okay, that makes sense. That's like, but I was that's like, like, what? <laughs> that's Ashley Johnson with like all the capitals in her name. That's like mega Ashley Johnson because she has like <laughs> that's like oh, the nerd, like it's in there. <laughs> wow, recess, damn, recess. Oh, yeah, whoo. Holy shit. I've <laughs> that since I was 10. I remember the episode where one of them turns 10 and they're like, you're entering the double digits. And I was like, oh no, so am I. <laughs> you're doing pretty good so far. Number 10. Your tale would stir the hearts of many men and women here. That's Sam Regal. Is that Alphano? <laughs> it is Alphano. Yeah. <laughs> Can you name the expansion <laughs> of Final Fantasy XIV that he voices Alpha No in? Oh, oh, it, it's heaven. It, it's not, oh, fuck. It's Realm Reborn, because thank God that's the yes. last. That's the first <laughs> and the last we hear of that. I can, uh, Footnote to author's note. I love Sam Regal. I, he's really good. But I'm going to throttle whoever voice directed a Realm Reborn. Because they yeah. had people like Talis and fucking Jaffe in there, and it's abysmal. Like, it's... Woo! <laughs> and oh, Talison it's bad. is, like, a phenomenal voice actor as well, but they were just really weirdly cast for the the characters that they ended up playing. I think the closest Talison, they got was Gideon Emery kind of fits as Orianger, it's, but eh. It's also, like, Gideon Emery is usually playing, like, these stoic characters, so it's like, he's already doing half the work for you. So it's, like, by yeah. being Gideon Emery. But... Uh, fun fact, Talzin Jaffe does a lot more voice direction work than he does voice acting, and he yeah. d- voice directed, it's time to do the duel. I, I, I stuttered. <laughs> Good <laughs> he for He voice him. directed, he voice directed Tease's favorite series, uh, Beck Mongolian Chop Squad. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So he's really, he's a fantastic voice director. Number 11. Hey, look at this bridge. A bridge? That's not from Bluey, is it? No, that's not from Bluey. I gotta this hear it is again. from a movie that I know you have seen. Oh man, shit! All right, let me listen to it again. Oh god. Oh. Ugh. Your oh, your man. hot tip is that this is the American dub, and there were two English dubs. Two. It's not a. Uh, oh god. It's not Ponyo. Is there? Some, is it? Is it a Ghibli film? It is a Ghibli film. Okay, May. Who the fuck is May? Although it could have been, I don't know. Fucking. These are the main movie. characters. These are the main characters. All right, one more time. <laughs> it isn't my neighbor Totoro, is it? It is. This Do is you know who because... those voice actresses are? Oh God, they're children. So is it like a? Is it like I don't know, Hillary Duff? <laughs> no, it's not Hillary Duff. Uh, I have no idea. So fun fact: I've actually never seen my neighbor Totoro. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That okay, that one, I wasn't aware of that. I apologize. <laughs> it's okay. That one missed me by a couple of years. My first one was Spirited okay. Away, and then I you okay. know, went on from there. But that makes sense, because they're children, and it's about being So children. this is Dakota and Elle Fanning. Okay, yeah, Dakota Fanning. Was yeah. it, wasn't she also Lilo in Lilo and Stitch? I don't know about that one. I do know that she was... Uh, no, I'm, I'm mixing her up with Kirsten Dunst. Number 12. Just act natural. This is a candid shot. <laughs> It's Aaron Hansen in, in uh, 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 Rick and Morty. <laughs> yes. I am taking yes, a picture of you. I am not staring at you. I am taking a picture. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Oh, I want to listen to it again just because it's so fucking funny. This one might also be a little tricky for you. This is number 13. Why did you make me do this? You're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die. <laughs> Look around, Mark. <laughs> Look at what they—they they have only a fraction of our power. Yeah, that's um, that's uh, Nolan. I don't remember his last name in um, Invincible, and the actor—I don't remember his name, but I'm gonna hit myself when you say it. But he's Spider-Man's manager in like the first Spider-Man. Yeah, if you can give me the name of that other character, I'll give you the point for voice actor. Oh, God, for Spider-Man's manager? Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm not that smart. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> they I have don't the remember same it. first initial. Of Peter The Parker actor and the it, character. Oh, God, that doesn't help. I don't know any of the 
character. <laughs> it's like <laughs> so that's that's J.K. Simmons as Omni Man or oh, okay. as Nolan yeah. in Invincible, which is a phenomenal think... series and I recommend. But please, as always, mind does the dog die because that's a visceral. Oh series. God! Ooh, yeah. Um, it's it's because why like why does J.K. Simmons have initials in the first half of his name? Like, what the fuck does J.K. stand for? Just uh, he kidding. might be a junior. Simmons. He might just. It might just be to be more distinct. Distinct, because if your name is like John Simmons, that doesn't stand stand out as much as J.K. Simmons is. I don't know. Listeners, I'm sure can tell me the actor I mixed him up with in the episode where I did talk about Invincible, because I mixed him up with the guy from Tim and Eric. <laughs> John That's C. So Riley. Funny. John C. Riley is who I mixed him up with. <laughs> Who's not from Tim and Eric? Maybe I don't know. I've never actually seen Tim and Eric. I've just he's seen in a. He's a, There's Tim a segment. There's a segment. Okay. And okay. and worthy kids did an animation where so, shushy, shushy and guacamole. That's J. C. Riley. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's All so right. funny, dude. Okay. <laughs> Mark. We're on to number fourteen. I'm just yes, collecting Nika? myself for a, for a second here. <laughs> of my daughter. So, there was so much... For a stupid sound bite, there's so much emotion for me behind that fucking clip. <laughs> <laughs> it's Miss Duck. It's a hero from it Princess is. Tutu. And that's my other wife in life, Lucy motherfucking Christian. Love her. She's so There's a really cute clip from the outtake... Or, no, the... I have the Orin Host Club DVDs. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And they have the they have commentary with Travis, um, almost in McElroy. <laughs> Travis, <laughs> I want somebody to willing go blam all of Travis Willingham's voice lines with Travis McElroy. <laughs> Can you imagine that Roy Mustang as voiced by Travis McElroy? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get down on your hands and knees there, Lust. I, I, you've is, had enough. Is that what Travis McElroy sounds like? To That's me, not yeah, what I mean, he's, McElroy sounds like. He's from Virginia. I don't fucking know, but the point is, is that he's from West Virginia, <laughs> born and raised on the playground, is where I spent most of my days. Is relaxing. Now that's Will joke. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> he talks about You're meeting Lucy Christian, and she's like a fourth of his height, and he's she's older than him, and mm-hmm. the, he met her for like the first time, and she does this like. <laughs> And he's like, I was, you're so cute! Like, <laughs> just, he loses it. <laughs> Fucking love Lucy Christian. Fifteen. A staple. So what? It's not like there's anyone waiting at home for me! Oh my god, yeah, it's it's Mr. Naruto. It's Naruto Uzumaki. It is Mr. Naruto. Do you know who voices Naruto? I, I've seen her. I don't remember her name. But she... I think she's done work before. She unfortunately is now glued to Naruto for the rest of her fucking life because she has that smoker's voice. So she's like the perfect. Mm. But she was also in Grey's Anatomy as like. She was also in Shameless. Yeah, she's like an actress, actress, but I don't know her yeah. name. But she's she's cool. Her name is Maylee Flanagan. We love her. We love her. I was watching Grey's Anatomy and like they go, someone is like stealing medicine or something. Um, and they go, they're like, hey, Mrs. So-and-so, can I have a record? She turns around, it's like Naruto going, yeah, I'll go get the records for you. <laughs> Here you go. Have a great day. And I'm like, no, it's Naruto. Hello? Naruto? Hello? He's Naruto here. gave up his, he's not ninja president anymore. He is, he's working as a, as a, um, at a pharmacy. Number 16. I should have been there for you by now, but here we are. Wow. Okay, that's that's Quentin Flynn again. Um, mm-hmm. Is it Raiden? No. Oh, that's ooh. Axel. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Let me listen to it again. <laughs> wow. How could I? <laughs> yeah, literally. Fuck the third game. I've had one cutscene with Axel. I haven't finished it yet. I have had one, and it's with the like. He has gotta celebrate. <laughs> yeah, he. I was surprised by how few voice lines he has in that game. And the like that whole first scene of him with Kyrie, he's stuttering and constantly cutting himself off. So it's like, yeah, no, well, maybe. And it's like, I can't, I can't work with this clip. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. You can always tell when it's Quentin Flynn because it, 
when I say what I say about identifying the voices, it's not to make fun of them. It's literally how I can tell who's who. But it always sounds mm-hmm. like he has two acorns in his mouth. Like, he's like... <laughs> What? His cheeks are full. <laughs> like he's got air pockets in there. So it's like he's got jowls and you can tell it's like it's quick. Oh, in the same way that Gillian Anderson kind of speaks, yeah, where it's the the tongue is very flat and against the teeth at the back of the mouth. Meg Ryan has that as well, that sort of accent. Yeah. Not a knock, like that's just how he sounds. Mm-mm. That's how he was born. Mm-hmm. That's some people just sound the way that they sound just because of genetics. Seventeen. That's pretty forward of you considering we just met. Oh, fuck. I know who it is, but God, fuck me if I can remember. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) No, what's crazy is that this sounds a lot like Ashley Johnson to me. Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's not. This voice actor is much older than I thought she was. I this is a show I've watched several times. I can. God damn it. If only I didn't have ADHD, I would have perfect fucking score. <laughs> What's the show? Tell me a little bit about the show. Let's work through your brain uh, it's, together. It's, I think it's a Western cartoon. No. Fuck, it's an anime? God. Does it have to do with aliens? My, be- my brain is like, if it's not a Western it cartoon, does not I, have I, to deal. It does not have to deal with aliens. It <laughs> is a Netflix animated series. <laughs> oh! Ooh, oh, is it 3D or 2D? I won't tell you. The harder I try to remember, the more it slips away. Oh, I'm so fucking mad. <laughs> You're going to say it and I'm going to fucking... All right. Tell me tell me what it is. It's Haru from Beastars. <laughs> God damn it. God, you and son of a fucking And she is voiced bitch. by Laura Jill Miller, who's in her 50s, which I wasn't expecting. Oh, yeah. She's... she's um. What did you throw, by the way? Those were a pack of index cards that I never opened. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad. I love that show. It's great. And I have to watch more. God, son of a fucking. I, okay. If I don't, if my brain is like, it's not an anime and it's not a Western cartoon that we've seen often, then it's Ben 10. I don't know why I default to Ben 10. (laughs) No idea. She's probably in Ben 10 for all I fucking know. Okay. She could be. Number 18. He's a childhood friend who I've known, like, forever. I thought I knew everything there was to know about him, and then I find this. Okay, that's Bryce. I don't remember his last name, but that's my boy Bryce. That's not Bryce. Shut the fuck up. Hold on. (laughs) Are you sure that's not Bryce? When I went to look up who voiced this This character, This is who you're talking about! I was legitimately shocked that it was not Bryce. But they have a- okay. This person is also in Ladybug and is one of the recent recasts. Oh, shit. This is Nino's new voice actor. That's neat. It doesn't sound anything fucking like it. Okay, this is I, Nino's new voice. I didn't recognize Nino's. But can you tell me what show this is from? It's a show. You, okay, it's a show. I, yeah. it's, it, it's not, is it Ladybug? No. Okay, I have no idea. I did not recognize Nino's voice, so I have no idea. This is Jack in B Stars. Jack, the Golden Retriever. That, oh my god! There's like so many layers happening in my mind right now because I was like, "That's Bryce." (laughs) When I watched it, I was like, "It's my boy Bryce." I was wrong the whole fucking time. Would you like to tell the audience a little bit about Bryce and Miraculous Ladybug in specific? All right. So the Bryce has probably been in something you have listened to. Bryce is one of those car- those voice actors that has been in like a it's gazillion Bryce things. Bryce Pappenbrook, yeah, yeah. Um, like if you if you watched anything in your childhood, I I bet he's from that that like grouping of voice actors. Um, he, I know him as Caspar in Fire Emblem Three Houses because that's when I I've heard him before, but that's when I really started to pay attention to whatever character he was playing. And then we mm-hmm. watched Miraculous Ladybug. I have made the joke before, and I will make it again. Bryce has probably had to go to Cairo, uh, see a chiropractor because of how much of the show he was carrying on his back by voicing literally half the cast of Miraculous Ladybug. He is Nino. He is Adrian. He was he was the nerdy kid with the robot. He's uh he's Chloe's butler. He's uh the rock star that has the shitty. He's like the the CEO that that like his son makes really shitty like teen punk music or whatever. He's that guy. Mm-hmm. 
probably somebody else that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Ben Diskin is also uh, Gonzo in Muppet Babies. Just, just an important thing. <laughs> this to is know. one of those but rare he's guys. Also, he's also Haida in uh, in Agretzko. Oh, it's a good thing you told me that now because I would have rolled into Agretzko being like, "It's Bryce." Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so there is another voice actor that I was terrified you were going to put in here. He is he voices Soul Evans in Soul Eater. Who, when I first heard it, I thought it was Johnny Bosco. Oh, sorry, not Johnny Bosco. Johnny Young Bosch. Thank you. I thought it was Johnny Young Bosch. It's not. They they sound almost identical. It's insane. Mm. And the amount of times people have gone up to him and, <laughs> and like have gone up to Johnny Young Bosch and were like, I love when you played Soul. And he's like, who? Like, I don't know who that is. It's so fucking wild. Okay. I'm sweating. Right. I'm so sweaty right now. <laughs> we have two left. And I think the okay. last two are maybe the most difficult. But I don't know. You okay. might surprise me. Number 19. We will always be there for you. Oh, God. The dance music makes me think it's Persona 5. It is an anime video game. Yeah. I kind of want to say it's that that other Squaresoft game that came out, but I didn't play that. Astral Chain? I, no. Yeah, it's not Astral Chain. It's not Astral yeah. Chain. Stares at my game collection. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a <laughs> game you like, a game you've recommended, and a game you played. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's an anime game, and I, oh, it's not Code, is it Code Vein? No. Fuck! I'm looking over at, like, half the games I have are downloaded. Like, I don't know why I'm looking at my Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I, the voice actress, I'm like, I recognize her, but I don't. Let me hear it one more time. God. Oh, wait! Is it, is it AI Somnium Files? It is, yes. <laughs> now, can you narrow down which character it is and which voice actor it's, um, it is? It's the, it's, it's Iba. It is Iba. It's Iba. And her, so when I played the game, I had the same problem I'm having now, which is I know her. I've heard her before, but fuck mm-hmm. me, could not tell you her name, and I could not tell you her vocal history, but I know I've heard her before. Mm-hmm. Fuck, what's her name? So that was Erica Harlicker. Damn it. <laughs> this, is, this is our very last one. Are you prepared? No, but let's do it. Uh, I'm losing my my okay. dick is gone. Like we're we're bordering on flaccid right now. Like I was I'm <laughs> starting out strong, and now it's just falling apart. Okay, I have boob sweat, and it's like a waterfall. Twenty. How long have you been standing there? You haven't been watching me, have you? Oh, that's okay. That's it. It's not, it's not Ignis from. Fuck. <laughs> So he is, this is Fire Emblem Three Houses. This is yes. the, the kid, this is the kid that wants to be an artist, but his dad was like, you're going to be a war criminal instead, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yes. It's, it's yeah. Ingus or like Ignis, but it's not Ignis, is it? Like, oh, fuck, I don't remember the name. There's a Z in his name and it does start with an Ig. It starts with an Ignat. Igna- Ignats. It's Ignats. It is Ignats. Yeah. I don't remember his last name because you know they've all got fucking crazy ass names. Um, the voice actor is new. I have not. I think I've heard him. I've in heard one you other say project. his name before though, which is why I was oh, like really? maybe Nika has a chance with this one, or I just know really? your voice so well that I can imagine you saying literally anything at this point. <laughs> Let me hear it one more time. So I don't, I don't know his name, but I know his voice. He has a distinct, he has a bit of a, uh, like a shush, like he pronounces his S's with an SH. And I don't know his name. I've only heard him in Fire Emblem and possibly something else. But I know the character, it's Ignatz, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I love him. He was a second choice to marry after uh, Ash. <laughs> I married Ash. <laughs> I love him. And then I so played, Ignatz- and then I played golden deer and that was all thrown out the window when i heard yeah. fucking <laughs> was it claude oh my... yeah it's fucking claude. claude's perfect yeah yeah claude's perfect uh, we love to hang out with I'm claude surprised. in this household ignatz is voiced by christian lamonte Ooh, what a lovely name christian lamonte right yeah yeah so nika you finish with a total score of 25 out of 40, which quite frankly is more than I thought you would get. So. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. You, uh, yeah, like I said, if I didn't have a memory disorder and I had perfect recollection, <laughs> I feel like I would have gotten a higher score, but. God had to nerf you with ADHD. That's, that's the <laughs> Yeah, he really did. Yeah. 
<laughs> you really fucking did. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so much fun. I think the the really fun part of like finding these voice lines and also just paying more attention to the vocal work that happens in anything you're enjoying is like, I think you really become keyed into the subtle acting that happens with a voice and how important that is. And I mean, just think of like any major blockbuster production post genie aladdin right that has sold itself on its huge name actors who like haven't been able to deliver because they're not voice actors they haven't honed that specific craft and i mean of course you always get like the rare individual who is who's really incredible but i think more often than not we we wind up with people who just kind of sell it short which is really so what's What's so interesting about, like, the art of voice acting, right, is that, so, like, when you first, like, start listening to things, like, really hardcore, you, Mm -hmm. first off, you assume it's, like, it's all, and by the way, super plus that Vic isn't on this list, like, that, that's Oh, absolutely not. We don't recognize that name in this household. Moving on. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It's, like, you first listen to those, like, performances, and you assume it's all the voice actors. Like, it's all them Mm -hmm. doing, like, the legwork. And, like, Mm -hmm. yes, they have talent. They have an ability to, like, as much as I... This is a this is a topic for another episode, should you ever have me again. But Troy fucking Baker is an excellent actor. (laughs) I got some beef with him. But other than... (laughs) Other than that... (laughs) Even when, even despite the voice direction, like he always manages to pull out an A plus mm-hmm. plus performance. But then you have people like, like the thing with, um, with Sam and uh, Talizan, where they are profoundly incredible actors. And I watched them on Critical Role, yeah. where they are doing shit on the fly, and they are yeah. so good that even talent that good can get fucked by a bad voice director, yeah. or maybe even like. We talk about that all the time with Final Fantasy 15, where that game, like, yes, Ray Chase and Robbie Damon and uh, Adam Crowsdale deliver, like, phenomenal performances. But you can also hear it, like, throughout, like, where they were clearly, like, either very frustrated or very tired, or this was maybe, like, the 800th time they were taking a line. And it's like, I feel like you see that, especially in, like, Gladio's performance. And also, because the game got changed so much. It was in development for 15 years. Of course, it's like... Who, what are our characters? Who are they, who are they, who are they doing and what are they doing? (laughs) The fact that the voice actor for Junkrat is the same guy as Gladio should tell you a Mm -hmm. lot about who was directing them. Uh, And not, not to like knock those performances, but they're not their best, you know, and it, the end product suffers for it. And I mean, you see that in Final Fantasy 14 as well, where like these weird castings don't match the characters and it's like, yeah. Even when the voice doesn't match the character, you end up with just something really weird and modeled and it, it doesn't totally come together in the experience at the end. And I, I like to imagine that the scene where like uh, Noctis is like, don't you think I know that? I like to think it's uh, Ray Chase like channeling all his f- <laughs> frustration from the <laughs> numerous retakes into that line because <laughs> it's really charged. But one of my favorite things about about like, you know, it's we all struggle with our mental health, right? I struggle with Mm self-confidence like everybody else. But one thing I am very confident Mm -hmm. about is my ability to pick people out. And the, the ability comes from the fact that like every single person on this planet has such a unique way of speaking that they cannot Mm -hmm. hide. It is like, Mm -hmm. it's down to the physiology. It's down to where they grew up. What, what's their first language. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I can tell, like, I made the joke earlier, but I can tell it's Quentin Flynn because of the cheek thing. I can tell it's, like, somebody else because of, like, maybe they speak farther back in their throat. And that's all subconscious. And the one mm-hmm. time I was ever, not not barring people that just happen to sound very similar to each other, the one time I heard a vocal performance and I had no fucking clue who it was, and, I, and when I did find out I was pissed, was Joel from last of us i had no idea who that was i was like wow this guy sounds really good and then i real i looked it up and i was like it's it's fucking troy baker who at the time i recognized as a character from bleach like which is a yeah fair. he was also abel night road in trinity blood which i really love i have the dvd mm-hmm. of that totally different character not even the same ballpark mm-hmm. so i was like but but excuse me so like it's it's just i don't know i love it if i was there's a lot of things i want to be and one of them if like if if i didn't meet all these other criteria i would be a voice director because it's just so it's such an amazing field and these Mm. people like 
I would pay money to be a fly on the wall to watch them like workshop this kind of stuff out and how mm-hmm. we get the performances we get. And I got the I got the pleasure of meeting Ray Chase one time and he was super nice. And I got him to sign my near automata live orchestra CDs that I bought literally seconds before <laughs> I laid eyes on him because I have no <laughs> self-control. And I went up to him <laughs> And I was like, "Wow, uh, it's it's yeah. Can you sign this? Also, uh, when you get, would you guys ever do another recording with Kyle McCarley again for his his Twitch channel?" And he was like, "Oh yeah, I think he wants to do another thing." And I was like, "Yeah, you. Oh, uh, I had such a good time." And he was like, "Yeah." Uh, and he did this line that Eve does in your Automata, where he's like. He's like, I'm going to read real hard. No, I'm going to eat that apple really hard. It was like really sexual. (laughs) And he just pops it out. And I lost my fucking shit. So, (laughs) and he started off reading audiobooks in his car, like some Mm -hmm. fucking where. So like, just mad Mm -hmm. respect for voice actors. They do a lot Mm -hmm. of work. Voice directors too. I don't know their names. I should, and I will learn them. But yeah. It's it's cool. My my fun recommendation is if you want to support an indie voice actor today, find somebody on Twitter, find out if they have a Kofi or a Patreon, and especially if you're an animator or an artist, hit that voice actor up and be like, hey, can you like voice some lines real quick just for like a personal project so that you can have like a fully voiced line for your own character? And like have a friend animate it or animate it yourself. Learn something new. Have you fun. You can find so much amazing talent like obviously this is a this mm-hmm. is a no-brainer but pros d incredible incredible oh yeah and actor. he came from just doing little voice lines Vines. on tumblr and stuff yeah yeah he he also has an insane memory there's that clip where he like has a whole scene from peter pan memorized beat for yeah. beat mm-hmm. and he made it he made a japer he was like i really don't like it when people are like yeah i can recognize any voice like bitch so can i and i'm like I, I don't know about that one, guy. I think you're just special. I think you're just really good at <laughs> hearing shit. But yeah, they're every like, uh, you know, even the McElroys. I mean, they're not like they're they're kind of like higher. I would say higher than like an indie creator. But like they definitely mm-hmm. didn't start off as voice actors. But you don't have to. No, you just yeah. have to like when I did my thesis film, I did a thesis film. Mm-hmm. And I, I had to hire my friends as voice actors and they were actually really fucking good. Like people are just like, they want to express themselves. And sometimes all you need mm-hmm. is like just a quiet place, like your car on a mountaintop and you can just work some shit out. Or quite frankly, your closet, go in your closet. It's a wonderful sound dampening tool. I know we talk about you're wrong about all the time uh, <laughs> because we <laughs> love it. And say. Sarah, most of the time is in her closet recording. You can tell too. <laughs> like i had finally yeah. listened to it with earbuds in and i was like oh sarah like she's like talking through a sock it's like it's really good <laughs> it's not bad i just like wow i can really hear it this time knowing mm-hmm. that she's in there but oh yeah. man listeners let us know what score you got on this fun little quiz and i hope you guys enjoyed this if you're interested in more goofy little stuff like this let us know and if you want nika back let us know because tisa and i both adore nika and Nika has so many ideas for episodes that, you know, they want to do. I have so many that I have to pitch. They have to write the pitch first. (laughs) Yeah. I'm just like, hey, what if, like, you guys do an episode on this? And you were like, maybe you should pitch it to us. And I'm like, oh. (laughs) And therein lies the problem. I have to do something. (laughs) I have to, I have to work and use my brain. (laughs) No. But yeah, uh. if you enjoyed Nika, you can find them on Twitter and Tumblr at Turian Mailman. That's T U R I A N M A I L M A N. They are an incredible artist. They make comics. Keep an eye out for a special Princess Tutu project that they're working on as well. I'm putting you on blast so that you have to work on it more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you enjoyed the podcast, you know. Leaving us a review on iTunes helps us out so much. Share it with a friend. Retweet our little promos on Twitter. All that stuff is totally free to do and helps us out so much. But also, just listening to the show is a super big help. So thank you. If you want to support us monetarily, we have a Ko-fi and we also have a Patreon. Patreon members at the $5 tier get access to monthly plus episodes where we do anything from book clubs to show and tell where we talk about the things we really love and why we love them. We just put one of those out. Tease talks about ping pong the animation and what an incredible 
feast for the eyes is, and I talk about Miraculous Ladybug and the plot and why it's really compelling and interesting. <laughs> if you want to find out more about our podcast, you can find us at authorsnotepod.com. We are on Patreon and Ko-fi again at Authors Note Pod. My name is Cass, and you can find me pretty much everywhere across the internet at Val Hathello. That's V-A-L-H-E-T-H-E-L-L-A. And if you enjoyed our theme music that was composed and done by the wonderful James Wyulo, you can find him on Bandcamp at James Y. And if you enjoyed our cover art that was by the wonderful and incredible Nyalius, you can find her on Twitter at Nyalius, that's N-Y-A-L-L-I-E-S-T. Nika, we come now to the final question of the show, which is, what's something that doesn't have a fandom that you wish did? Uh, I, I would say Princess Tutu, but I think it's actually kind of getting a lot of buzz right now. Uh, but I mean, mm-hmm. I'll always plug Princess Tutu. If you, I always describe it as Inception on ballet. It's like, whatever you think it is, it is not that. It, it deceives mm-hmm. you with like its cutesy style. I won't say more beyond that. If you just like really meta stories, I highly recommend it. And of course it's got like... <laughs> open source, you know, Tchotchke, Tchaikovsky music or whatever. So like the music's mm-hmm. always going to bop. Highly recommend that. Um, AI Somnium Files, I would also recommend. It is a detective game. You can play it on the Switch. I believe it goes on sale relatively often, but it is about a detective mm-hmm. who has a special eyeball that can talk to him in his eye. And you are solving a murder case and it has multiple endings, um, and it's kind of done in a pseudo point-and-click adventure game style slash visual novel style, and the writing mm-hmm. is impeccable. It is so funny and so off the wall, but then it'll switch to, like, I cried in certain sections mm-hmm. of playing it. Highly recommend that. Um, if you like podcasts, Wolf 359, it's dead now. It's long been dead, but... Um, <laughs> I'm sure it, I'm, I haven't checked to see if it has an active fandom, but like, I mean, it's a good story. It's really compelling. Mm-hmm. It's a mystery. It's like a, you're on a space station with this guy, Eiffel, and it starts with their everyday, you know, taking care of a space station surrounding a dwarf star into a sort of political drama. So mm. that's really good. And I can't really think of no, anything No, I'm cutting else. you off now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Jeez. That- I see how it is. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. We will catch you all next week. Tease will be back. Until then, please get vaccinated. Stay up to date with the news. Keep yourself safe and others safe, more importantly, by wearing a mask. And do something kind for yourself today. Bye. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Should I stop recording?